Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. Today I just wanted to come on and wish everyone a happy belated Mother's Day. Yes, this is my big girl India McQuell and she is the Indie Kit by Laura Lee Eagles. And today she is participating in Theme Thursday and the theme for this week is flowers and also the color purple for lupus awareness. Yeah, so let me go ahead and show you what she's going to wear. She's going to wear this denim jean by Cardis. It's a three-piece set by Cardis in the newborn size. And it's, uh, it's really cute. has these real po working pockets in the back and in the front has the look of pockets it has a snap that opens and there's no zip it's really really cute and this is actually a gift that i had worn from miss serenity smith in her appreciation giveaway and it came with this uh onesie and it's in the mint green it has a little wolf no fox it has a little fox and it has a little birdie very very cute and it also has a little flower and the theme for this week again is flowers so this outfit was perfect again the color is uh, mint green and the jacket yeah it's a three-piece set and the jacket is like a peach color and has all these flowers really really cute very very nice it's a three-piece set very very pretty yeah so McQuell is going to wear this today and today is the sun is out but it's pretty cool because there should be a storm passing by I'm not sure uh, you know we're watching the storm to see if it, if it develops into anything serious but for now it's just a tropical storm for now okay and then she's going to wear this socks it's gray and it has like a peachy color with gray and has like the little flower print I think she's going to wear this because I had thought about these uh, stripe uh, peach and white socks have like the cute little bow yeah I guess uh, I'll decide that as I'm dressing her huh? all right so that's what she's going to wear I'm just going to freshen up her pampers. Uh, yeah. So I hope everyone had a beautiful Mother's Day. My Mother's Day was quiet. Oh, my ring. Let me go ahead and explain to you guys. A few videos back, it was during one of my trips to Grand Bahama when I went to visit my mom. I had mentioned that uh, I had guessed that my ring accidentally dropped into one of the packages that I had packaged to send to my family and uh, I had made the joke that I know if the ring did drop in one of the packages for my mom that my mom was not going to return it <laughs> now honestly it didn't drop into the package for my mom but to my surprise I just found this ring about a week ago and I found it on the outside. I was so surprised. I found it on the outside. And I found it in one of the spots that we normally park our car. Yes. But this day, the car was parked in a different spot. And I walked straight past the ring. And for a split second, I saw something unusual, so I stepped back. And when I stepped back, I noticed my ring. And the ring had a rock. Like, it looked as if somebody placed this ring on my driveway. And it had a rock, like the rock was, like, I don't know, Just it just was weird. Like there was no dirt covering it. it. It was as if somebody just rest the ring there and put a, like a big rock in the middle of it. Like just to hold down the ring in place. 
it was so weird you know but yeah that's i found the ring in the spot where the car is normally parked which which is so strange because um and honestly there were times when we parked the car in a different spot and i've not noticed anything on the ground and then this one particular day a week ago as i was walking by i walked past the ring and step back because you know I had I got a glance of it I didn't think it was the ring I stepped back and when I looked I was like is this my ring and there was the ring the ring did have some dirt on it but it wasn't like completely matted in dirt no you know it, it was like someone just rest the ring there and place a rock to keep it in place it was so strange all right so Okay, so actually let me mention in this video that in my next video I would like to participate in a tag by Spring Flowers. Yes, but I'm going to do that in my next video. But in this video I'm just going to give a little update as to what's happening in the Bahamas with the virus. Yeah, so what's happening here is in the island that I live, there is still no reported cases of the virus, which is awesome. Uh, there continue to be cases in Bimini. I think Bimini has about eight cases. And Cat Key has, I think, three. Grand Bahama has, I think, 11. Uh, New Providence has the remainders. In total, there is 93 cases in total. So every weekend from Friday, let me see. Yeah, from Friday evening to Monday morning, there is a complete lockdown, meaning everything is completely closed. So there's also no churches that's open. Everything is completely closed. And during the week, the curfew is, I think, from in the evening until like 5 a.m. in the morning. So during the night time, there is no, especially for those young ones, like no, they're restricted to stay at home. Yeah, so... There should be nobody on the road or in their car driving. And this is an emergency, of course. There should definitely be no parties, stuff like that going on. Yes, because every evening at about, I think it's about like 7 p.m. in the evening until like 5 a.m. in the morning, there's a complete, uh, there's, a, there's a curfew. Yeah. And then on the weekends, on Fridays to Monday morning, 5 a.m., there's a shutdown. Yeah. And they still have like special days for grocery shopping. And a few things have opened up. There are like a few places online, so you can order stuff online and pick up your items, but there's really no, um, oh, this fits McQuell pretty good. There's really no gathering, no, no gathering at all. The airport is still closed. The dock is open only for freight. So there's no passengers on the dock or on the boats, on the sailboats. Yeah. Um, now my camera cut off. I have no idea as to when it cut off. So let me go ahead and continue. You know what? This has been happening. This is like my fourth or fifth time starting this camera over. I don't know what the problem is. So I'm just going to go and continue to dress my quail. And 
I'm not gonna start the video over is what I'm trying to say. Come here, girly. Come to mama. Yeah. So an update on my newest little one. My artists have completed my very last custom and she was ready to ship except I wasn't ready to have a ship this yet because the you know like I said the the airlines uh, where I live is you know the, the airport is still closed and there is a way that I can have a shipped home uh, I can I can I can have a ship through my old shipping company but the problem with that is that she doesn't ship completely to me she ships into Nassau and then I have to have her shipped again to the island that I live so I don't know I just asked the artist to hold on to her and um, I'll get back to her as to when she can ship which is so strange you know you 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 have your uh, your baby ready to come home and you're not able to at least for me I'm not able to receive my baby because of this virus that's because of this virus all right everyone so this is India McQuell let me turn her head because I have this habit of posing my babies the opposite way so let me go ahead and turn her head and she's a thumb sucker so she's gonna go and suck her thumb and yeah so my next video I will participate in the tag by spring flower yeah Oh, just look at McQuell. She looks so beautiful in this outfit. And again, this outfit is gifted to her from her auntie, Miss Serenity Smith. Yes, you can check her on her channel on YouTube. Yes. Tell your auntie thank you for the gift, hey. Say thank you, auntie. Thank you. It fits McQuell beautifully. And McQuill is the second baby that wore this outfit. The first baby that wore this outfit was uh, my very first baby girl, my Presley Awake. And now, McQuill. McQuill is the second baby to wear it. <laughs> so that's it, everyone. So thank you all so much for watching, and you have a super great day. Bye bye.